In this video, we will talk about having success in the United States professionally. If you come to work in the United States, how good does your English need to be? How good does your accent need to be? We are located right here at the YouTube studios in an area of Los Angeles called Silicon Beach. Silicon Beach is kind of like Silicon Valley in Northern California, but it's a part of Los Angeles that has a lot of technology companies. Frank is from Spain, and uh, Frank works in Silicon Beach. You work for Adobe. Yes, and I work for Adobe. And what for, do you do? I'm working within a product uh, that Adobe produces that is called Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro, okay, yeah, wow. Pro. So uh, you. <laughs> you can, uh, I'm impressed, you can make me look uh, 20 years younger? <laughs> I can. <laughs> wow, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, Photoshop, of course, everybody knows Photoshop, Illustrator, right. and well, Premiere Pro, After Effects. Well, I have a lot of students working for these various companies, and they come to me because they believe improving their accent will improve their professional success. Of course, it's going to help you. You have to communicate your ideas, you have to communicate what you think. And of course, you have to communicate with clients and colleagues, so of course, you need a good English. So what's the main reason you decided to take accent reduction lessons? One of my goals is to reduce the what factor. When is the last time somebody said what to you? Oh, yesterday, I think. It's not like a huge problem, but yeah, you, can, you have to say it again. You have to repeat yourself. Yeah. Another one, of course, is to be able to um, communicate my ideas better. As soon as you want to explain something complicated, something that uh, requires more understanding of English, it's becoming much harder. If you spoke English like a native speaker, or mm -hmm. close to that, if you sounded as American as possible, tell me how you think your professional life would be different. So for example, if you want to become some kind of manager, of course you have to, to be able to communicate. I mean, the idea is to communicate well. To communicate well. Yeah. If you can do that, you, you're you going to have way more options than if you don't. So if somebody is driven and ambitious and wants to succeed uh, and become a manager or, or even higher no. or be a CEO, mm -hmm. how important is good communication and good English pronunciation? Yeah, it's the main component, yeah. Being a manager or being a CEO or being a director or whatever is, is all about communication. It's all about being able to express what you want, your mm -hmm. vision. So you recently started taking lessons with me, oh, yeah. and uh, you're doing great, by the way. Oh. What would you recommend to someone who cannot afford lessons mm -hmm. or doesn't have access to, to teachers? What would you recommend they do on their own? Like, let's say somebody uh, watching this video is in Europe right now, or maybe oh. they're in India, or maybe they're in China, and they want to have a job like yours, like working for Adobe in the United States or working for Google. What, what could they do by themselves? Is there anything that you would recommend? You can read in English. You can see what, and watch movies. You can, of course, have like an exchange between Spanish and English. So you mm -hmm. can meet up with somebody. He's going to talk in Spanish. You're going to talk in English. Well, Spanish, it's a little bit more like blah, 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 blah. And in English, it's way more fluent, like More news. smooth and more connected. Yeah, so the yeah. word stress, the word stress, yeah. yes. That's really complicated for us, I think, for the Spanish people. English, it has a lot of words that we stress and other words that we reduce, that's and right. Spanish doesn't have that. Uh -huh. And if you don't do that, that's one of the reasons that people may have a hard time understanding yeah. you if you say a sentence flat. So let's practice some word stress. Repeat, I love it. I love it. I love working there. I love I love working there. Beautiful. I love working for Adobe. I, lo I love working for Adobe. See, that sounds a lot better. That sounds great. <laughs> that sounds really good. Uh -huh. And if you didn't know that, maybe how would you say that in Spanish? It would be, uh, I love working for Adobe. Word by word, separate, yeah. separate. <laughs> it's or very better. quickly, I love working for Adobe. I love working for Adobe, yeah. So Frank, thank you so much for being here and sharing your thoughts. No, thank you for inviting me. And congratulations for making a decision to take classes immediately after you arrived in the United States. Uh, Frank has been here for just five months. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Please subscribe to my channel. And also, please go to the website and get on the mailing list. I'm writing a few more new books, and I'm also making new videos that are only going to be available on accurateenglish.com. 
Thanks for watching.